I put a little post up. I asked for everyone's opinion about if I should run the panels horizontally or vertically on the walls. And it was unanimous that I should run them horizontally. But I'm not Elon Musk. Democracy is so overrated. So <laughs> I'm not listening. <laughs> no, I'm, the reason I didn't do it, I put them both ways. Time to get stuck in. Can we please just skip ahead to the end? <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm getting these offcuts of flooring that I've got left over from doing the floor. Fascinating. And I'm going to put them on here, glue them down with this stuff, and then I'm going to clamp them with this. Once I've clamped it all on there and it's set for 24 hours to dry, I should be able to fix something to it. He has boundless, unjustified confidence. Alright, so that was nice and easy. It doesn't say how long it takes to dry. I'm going to assume that it's 24 hours. All I'm going to have to do now to get it squared is get some hardwood masonite packers, get old mate on here to check for square with the floor because nothing's got to be level because we're parked on the biggest slanty hill that you can imagine. <laughs> Well, probably not that you can imagine. I'm gonna push the square so it's hard against the floor and hard against the wall. Once I've got it hard against the floor and hard against the wall, measure out the distance here, which is six mil. So I'll be able to put two of these guys on, shoot them and glue them in, because if they've got an air gap there, it won't be very good for getting the wall straight. Mind the gap. And then this guy on top. Nice and easy. I might put another panel on the top here as well, because I think I'll have an easier time if I've got two fixing points, but that's the plan. Talk about the blind leading the blind. Well, there you go. All done. Very easy job. I think anyone could do it. It's literally just glue and clamping. So that's one way to frame out your walls. 24 hours later. So today I'm going to be using this stuff, sticking it to that wall using this stuff. That way, once we've got our van still on, we'll have a decent R rating, and then we can install these guys, but that's probably gonna be another video. Yeah, we're not gonna watch another video. But for now, let's tackle this stuff, because it looks annoying. I'm not annoying. Yay. First things first, we're getting this wrap on. I've got to get these little clips down if you've got a rose of bus you know what I'm talking about they're just little clips you can just push them in with your finger if you've got plastering fingers but I'm gonna use a hammer because it's easier I'm not lazy I'm just um I'm gonna stick it to here squeeze it in and then head that way to give me a thermal bridge on this side because I probably will put timber on that side but I'm not sure 100% what I'm doing here yet. Okay, so the process I'm doing is I'm only peeling off what I need to and I'm just going to do a section at a time and fingers crossed this goes well because this is the first time I've ever done this. Nervous! I'm not nervous! Okay, I think I'm better off just taking the whole lot off. Learning! Tell you what, it doesn't get much more easier than that. That was really, really easy. 3,000 whoop who's later. Okay, so this is pretty easy. All I'm doing is getting my hidden decking screws that I used on the flooring. I'm putting them in on a fairly decent angle and that helps pull it in to the next piece. Having it on a nice decent angle helps keep it nice and secure. I don't know how this is gonna hold up on the road in a bus. I think it's gonna be fine, especially once I've got the shelf sitting on top and everything's kind of braced in and I've got a bit of quad down the bottom. I think it's gonna be pretty okay. And it also does mean that I get to remove the panels if I need to, if I have a change of thought, which I likely will because it's building a bus. Hello, indecisive much? 
So I'm actually screwing it in a reasonable amount and then backing it off a little bit because I need to have that room to slide my next panel in. And if I screw it right in, it doesn't give a lot of room. I seem to have to go in, countersink it and back it off. So this side here is now completely finished. And the reason I was hesitating is because I didn't know what I was doing about the awning on the outside. So I didn't know if I was gonna need access to any of this. But fortunately, you can actually remove these panels if you need access because I've screwed it on instead of gluing it. I think it's a better idea at this stage in the bus build because you never know what's gonna come in the future. You don't know what you're gonna need to do, especially when you're as inexperienced with bus building as I am. And the truth! So screwing them on for now, I can always remove them if I need to access the wall panel. I might glue it down in the future, don't know yet, but for now, it's come up pretty good. I'll patch out these little holes here where I've line nailed it and then fresh coat of paint, look Mickey Mouse. One last thing that I <laughs> forgot to do, the weather reminded me because it's now raining and it's like after Christmas in Melbourne, but you know, cool. Cold, far too cold. Anyway, I forgot to tell everyone about this. It's kind of important. You do get moisture build up in buses because of the condensation. So make sure that you do coat it in some sort of varnish or something in order to prevent any kind of rot or problems like that. That's it for me and I'll see you in the next video. Yeah, we're not gonna watch another video.